Let us discuss about image formed by concave lens. Okay, what are the characteristics of image formed by concave lens? Okay, in this session we will discuss about those things. So first case, what is the first case here? In the case of concave lens, first when object is placed at infinity, what is the characteristic of image? Object is placed at infinity. So, where is the image is formed? See, these are the rays of concave lens. These are the ray. These are the. This is the beam of light rays incident on concave lens. Next. What will happen? These rays are diverging from these rays are diverging from the concave lens like this. And if you produce backward these lines, they are met at focus like this. If you produce these things, there is a met at principal focus. Here these things are met. Okay. Here the image is formed, where the diverging lines are coincide. In that point, the image is formed. See, what is the shape of your image here? Here, the image is virtual. It is virtual. And Diminish to a point. It is looks like diminished. Diminish to a point. Next, it is erect. Next, it is where it is formed. It is formed at principal focus. Formed at principal focus. So these are the characteristics of image formed by concave lens in the case when object is placed at infinity okay it is virtual diminish and erect okay next so where it is used it is used as an eye lens in Galileo telescope what is the use of concave lens in this case when an object is placed at infinity, then a concave lens behaves as an eye lens. It is behaves an eye lens in Galileo telescope. Okay, this is the use of concave lens in this case. Next, what is the next case? Consider a concave lens. This is a concave lens. And if an object is placed anywhere between optical center O and infinity. Okay, this is infinity somewhere. And you can place between optical center O and infinity. That is the second case. Okay, if an ob when an object is placed between the optical center and infinity, like this. This is an image placed here. This is an object is placed here. Where the image is formed in this case. See, the fundamental rays. This is a ray incident, parallel ray incident on concave lens. Next. It will diverge just like this. It will diverge just like this. Next, the another fundamental ray passes through the optical center. This is passes through the optical center. Okay. So where is the image from? If you want to find the image, you have to extend this line like this. This is this line, this divergent line is extended back like this and it is passed through the principal focus. Next, these two are met here in this point. 
so the image is formed here so where is the image this is this is the image okay so image is formed here so what is the shape of this image this is diminish and erect okay so what are the conditions in the second case here the second case object is placed between optical center and uh, infinity between infinity the image is formed between optical center and principal focus and this is virtual and erect so it is virtual erect and diminish to a point next it is formed at formed between optical center o and principal focus f between optical center o and principal focus f next what is the use of concave lens in this case it is used for correcting short sightedness correcting short sightedness these are the two cases so in these two cases images are found